Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video and to this full day of eating. So today uh, I am going to be taking you through a day, a typical day in my diet uh, where I consume 3000 calories and I'm currently consuming 3000 calories because my main goal at the moment is to bulk up. However, I am currently on a lean bulk, uh, which means I'm trying to maximize muscle gain whilst minimizing fat gain in the process. And I find that 3000 calories is a, a good calorie number for me to be at at the moment uh, to achieve that. And then in terms of macros, uh, we'll start with protein. So I aim to hit approximately 190 grams or more per day. Uh, and then with carbs and fats, I'm really, really flexible with those as I always am, but I do have a minimum fat target uh, of 50 grams. So as long as I hit 50 grams of fat every single day, I don't really mind where my carbs and fats fall. Uh, for example, some days I might hit 50 grams, 60 grams, 70 grams of fats. It doesn't really matter to me. It depends on what I'm eating, my personal food prep preferences on that specific day. Uh, and things like that. So it is currently just before nine o'clock, quarter to nine, and I am going to start my day uh, with one of my favorite meals. It is gonna be protein porridge. So we have uh, some porridge oats, some chocolate brownie whey protein from my protein. We have some PB2 powdered peanut butter, uh, which is my go-to source of peanut butter. I use this all the time. I'm actually running out. Rach took some on me the other day. Was not impressed. Um, we have some summer fruits that you get in Aldi. Uh, and I am also going to sprinkle some Cheerios on top because I am a baby. And we are good to go. You cannot see an ounce of porridge. That is impressive. Uh, but what a meal this is. Absolutely love it. And in it, uh, there is 466 calories and 44 grams of protein. So a good way to start today. And it has just started to snow. I'm actually not a fan of snow whatsoever. I don't care if that's boring. It's just so inconvenient. Like, stop snowing. It's February. Go away. Taste test. Mm. The Cheerios add a nice crunch. All right, so it is just after 12 o'clock. I got a, a few hours of work done. I'm always at my most productive in the morning times. It's when I feel like energetic, you could say. So I always like to get my most important things and most important tasks of the day done then. So I always do my client emails uh, in the morning, for example, and just like really important things like that. But it is time. Uh, for my next meal of the day. So I am going to have some 60 calorie bread, two bananas, and again, and probably not the last time, you'll see this today, I am going to have some powdered peanut butter. So it is kind of going to be like an open toasted uh, peanut butter and banana sandwich. I am absolutely buzzing for this. And I know this is controversial, but my favorite slice of bread is the heel. Absolutely love it. And some people call the heel weird things. Like, what is that thing that people call it? I think it's like the devil's arse. Devil's arse, no. Did I just make that up? I don't know, I don't know. And this is quite a high carb meal. So I think it contains 77 grams in total. And the reason I am having uh, such a high carb meal now is because I'm going to train. And it is good to have carbs uh, before a workout. To be honest, it is not essential to do this if you are bulking and consuming just a lot of carbs in general, because if you are, uh, there's always gonna be like plenty of carbs in your system to fuel a workout. But when you are in a fat loss phase and calories are lower, this might be different and you might be consuming, you know, very little carbs. And in that case, it can be really, really beneficial to put most of your carbs before a workout. But yeah, either way, that is what I am doing now and it just gives me an excuse to eat a peanut butter and banana sandwich, which is always good. Mm. 
But anyway, let's get to the gym. I am training arms today, uh, which is nice, and I am feeling good as well. So it's gonna be a good day. Side of America, where we choose pride over character, and we pick sides, but this is us, this is us, this is. I live on the west side of America, where the spin lies into fairy dust, and we pick sides, but this is us, this is us, this is. And don't believe the narcissism When everyone projects and expects you to listen to them Be no mistake, I live in a prison That I build myself, it is my religion And they say that I am a sheep boy Easier to say when they don't take the risk, boy Welcome to the narcissism We're united under our indifference And I think the east side of America Well, it just seems to the times I'm serious stomach is grumbling uh, so it's time for my post-workout meal so I'm gonna have a pretty basic version of a burrito bowl that is probably how I would describe it so I'm gonna have a full pack uh, of this Tesco whole grain spicy Mexican inspired rice I am going to have one bag of this cauliflower rice that you get from Aldi uh, I am going to have a portion of lean mince so I usually prepare uh, 500 grams at a time and then split it over three meals uh, and I am also going to add some hot salsa uh, for some flavor and salsa is one of my favorite dressings to add to a meal uh, just because it is so calorie friendly so I'm going to have half of the jar uh, which is 150 grams and in that there's only going to be 45 cals and even though I am bulking I still like to be pretty clever uh, in terms of calories and I don't like getting many of my calories each day uh, from things like sauces and liquids and you know things like that and that is just because my appetite is so big uh, so if I was to get a lot of calories uh, from them sources then it is highly likely that I would go to bed hungry even though I'm consuming 3,000 calories so yeah to prevent that from happening I do like getting getting a lot of my calories on a daily basis uh, from things like lean meats, uh, fruit and veg. Okay, I am absolutely buzzing for this and in this whole meal there is 759 cals uh, and 56 grams of protein. All right, so time for a little post-dinner treat. So I'm going to have uh, one of these grenade bars, white chocolate salted peanut flavor. Uh, in this bar, I think there is 242 cals, which is kind of high for a protein bar, but the flavor just pulled me in. Couldn't say no. Big fan of white chocolate protein bars. I wasn't under the impression that it was white chocolate on the inside as well. I thought it would have been like darker on the inside, which is a bit disappointing, but it's still nice, I suppose. Okay, so it is just after nine o'clock and I am about to have my final uh, main meal of the day. Most of you, or a lot of you probably already know what it is by looking at it, and if you don't, then you're about to find out.
about to chill out for the evening. I think Rachel is just about to walk in the door. Uh, and as always, I am going to cap my calories off with a, a bit of a treat. So this is my treat of choice, the sour cream and onion popped chips. Uh, from Little Aldi do a version as well, but the Aldi version are actually crap. These ones are much better. That was Toby. Was he? All right. We did two last. We did our Yeah, so this is why I much prefer the little ones. They just have so much sour cream flavor, whereas the Aldi ones are so bland. Like they kind of taste like rice cakes. So if you have the choice, and these are your cup of tea, then the little ones. For the win. But yeah, I'm going to display my total calories and macros for the day on screen now. And I'm going to leave the video there. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And make sure you stick around as well. Because I'm going to be doing another full day of eating really, really soon. Uh, and my calorie target will be substantially higher. Because I know there is a lot of people out there that consume over 3,000 calories per day and find it hard to do so. So I wanna give you people uh, some ideas too. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.